Oh, hi guys. How are you? Hello. Good, sir. Good to see you. Hello, Ellie. Hello. All right. I have a good place. You have what? <laughs> you what? I'm I, was, I was lost in time, meaning I was doing, I was playing something and forgot them. Oh, okay, right. That's good, man. What were, what were you playing? A hundred percent orange juice is what it's called. It's sort of a tabletop, but in. Oh, I thought that you were okay. I thought for, for a moment I thought you were talking about food. Oh no, playing. All right, so the name of the video game is that. Mhm. Mm well, that's cool, man. So what? Is, what is it about? Um, uh, how do you explain it? First off, the whole thing about the game is weird. But the game itself is just a tabletop where you roll dice to advance in and gather stars and stuff. It's fairly simple, but it's fun. <laughs> okay, all right. So you like, is that an indie game? I'm not really sure. I got it on Steam when it, it was free. Okay. All right, man. That's that's good. Also, you got a Steam account. That's that's cool, man. Yeah, it, it figures. Do you have a fancy computer? Not really. No. I don't think so. All right. Just it needs a little bit. Stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. All right, man. What about you, Ellie? How was how was your day today? Busy. Busy? This is the high system. <laughs> To us. Oh, so you have to do so you get a lot of work. Yeah. All right. And my father doesn't uh, shut up. I, I don't know how to say. Can I say Kaya? So I need to turn on off my microphone. Okay, right. Your your parents won't. Yeah. One shush. <laughs> one shut. One shut up. You can say you can say one shut up. Okay. One shut up. All right. That's okay. I understand that. Hello, Lydia. Hello. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Nice to see you. You're, you're in a different room today. Yeah, I I am having dinner. Mm. That's good. That's good. All right. Oh, so you're is that that's the living room. Yeah, it's my living room. I can eat at my bedroom. Oh, okay. What are you having? You're having honey. Yeah, I have yogurt with banana, apple, and some granola with my coffee with milk. Yogurt, all right. That's a uh, yogurt. Yogurt, okay. Yogurt, sorry. Hey, that's that's awesome. You're very healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. So, how was exercise today? Nice. <laughs> nice. All right. Very good. All right. It's it's good that you have time to do exercises. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, if you if you ever work and have worked like twelve hours a day, that's that's kind of very you know difficult, but it's good. Uh, cause you, I think you never stop, right? Like you do it every day, such. Yeah, I do every day. Only on weekend, no. Okay. Oh, just just like you, the only day that you you don't work out is on, on weekends. Yeah. Then. All right, that's awesome. All right, very good, guys. So, did we finish, guys? Did we did we finish the platform? I mean, the the midterm now. Yeah. All right, that's thank you, thank you very much, guys. Good job. All right, guys. So we're gonna learn, guys, about prefixes. Okay. All right. So let's take a look, guys. Uh, first of all, guys, let's do a uh, let's go to section three, and we're gonna do exercise three point three. Okay. All right, so that's what we're gonna work on right now, guys. I'll give you 10 minutes to finish that, and then we're gonna move on to the grammar topic for today. Sounds like a plan? You have to say, sounds like a plan. Does it sound like a plan, guys? Sounds like I a plan? What do you say? Sounds like a plan is, sounds like a plan is like saying, is that okay, all right, all right, are we ready, all right? It's just that, it's just that. 
you know, it's just an expression for saying that, okay? All right, guys. So, uh, oh, my God. We're only three so far. So, let's work here, guys. I'm just going to get you through the breakout sessions, into the breakout room. But let's work together, okay? All right. So, let's go to 3.3. All right, Miguel, do my favorite. Share your screen, okay? And let's listen from your screen. Make sure that we share okay. the audio as well, okay? Right now. Yes. Hey, I got a I got a haircut today. I got like twenty minutes, you know, to go and find something, someone, because otherwise I don't have time during the day. This thing is getting a little bit slow. All right. Oh, there. All right, very good. Okay, so let's play the audio, guys. All right, and let's take notes. Okay, so as you listen, guys, it's always oh, a good idea to take notes. Different. I'm sorry. What is yeah, it? The audio is 3.3, 3.2, it's acknowledged, check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. then let's go to 3.2 so we can... No, but no, 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 the listening exercise is there. 3.3, uh -huh. yes. That's 3.3. All right, have you not finished the previous exercise, guys? Hold on, let me go back here. <coughs> oh, you haven't finished this one either, it's true. All uh, right, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we skipped one because we you haven't finished 3.2. All right, let's do 3.2 and 3.3, guys, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Which sentence is that Sam will go? Sam will go if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Sam will go only if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. Let's see. It should be this. He's the only one that says he won't go. All right. What do you think, Lydia? What do you think, Ellie? Oh, uh huh. So, what, what do you think? It's A, B, and C. You think that it's A, B, and C, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Imagine Sam gets an invitation. Which sentences mean that Sam will go? All right. So, A, B, and C. So, why D doesn't state that he will go? to, you know, to whatever he was invited to. Miguel? Well, in the first three, it says there's a possibility for, of him going, but in the last one, it says there's no chances for him to go. He won't go at all. Okay, very good, okay. So, so first one, you're saying the so first one, second one, and third one are saying that he would go. There is a possibility that he would go. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. It would go if you was okay. You're right about that. Good job. Good job, Miguel. All right. And both Miguel guys. Good job. All right. So Lydia, let's do the second one. I have to read it and say the answer. Okay. Yeah. And actually, okay. explain, just explain. It. I mean, read it. Choose the answer and then explain why. Okay. Which sentence means that Sam's won't go? A. Sam's will go if he was in. How do you say that word? Invite? Sam would go if he was invited. In, if he was invited. Uh -huh. Sam would go, go unless he was invited. Sam would go only if he has was invited. And Sam wouldn't go if, even if he was invited. Uh, it's number D because here number. say Sam is not going to go. Even is he okay? Okay, yeah. all right, but but okay, so um, so no possibility. We're talking about possibilities here, right? So, no possibility. Good job, all right? I agree with Lydia. Good job, Lydia. Plus for Lydia, guys. Good, good, good job, okay? Ellie, let's do the next one. Uh, this was it's so this is over with this. Oh my god, that's just two questions. Okay. That's, that's, that's that's cool. Okay, let's let's go to the listen then. All right, then you it's do have big. to listen to so play the audio. Uh, make sure that you're sharing the audio first, and then let's play the audio, okay? I'm sharing it. Let's see. I think I am sharing it. All right, if you want to make sure, just click on new share again. If, and if you see the, the check mark on share audio, then you are sharing it. Let's see. 
Finders Keepers. Can we be heard? Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about yeah, finding something. Okay. Are these statements? Let's just turn it down. Finders Keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about finding something. Are these statements true or false? Or does the person not say? Check the correct answer. One, Aaron. I was with my son at the supermarket. He was about eight years old at the time, and he found a wallet on the floor. Inside it was a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollars. He picked it up and got all excited. In fact, neither of us could really believe it. He started talking about all the things he would buy. Uh, right away, I told him that we couldn't keep it. He seemed disappointed at first. We started asking people if they had lost anything. After asking around for a while, we hadn't found anyone, and I was beginning to think we'd asked everyone. But then, as we were walking to the front of the store, I noticed a man, actually my son noticed him, pacing back and forth, shaking his head and muttering something. I thought it was probably his wallet, so we asked him, and it was. My son felt better when he saw how relieved the man was about getting his money back. That was our good deed for the day, and the man gave my son $10 as a reward for returning the wallet. Two, Leanne. I was on a train from Washington to New York last month when I found a book lying under my seat. It was so strange. It was just a little book, not an expensive one. It was probably only worth a few dollars. Well, I really wanted to read it. It was pretty interesting, and by the end of the trip, I was still reading it, so I decided to keep it. I took it home and finished it. Now, every time I see it on my bookshelf, I wonder if I should have taken it or not. I mean, do you think I should have returned it to the train conductor? Who knows? Like I said, it wasn't a very expensive book, so I didn't really feel guilty about taking it. Let's see. I think. All right, so let's work on it together, guys. Okay, according to your notes, what are those answers? I right, remember that you were supposed to be taking notes as you listen, guys. So uh, let's see. Number two, what what do you think answered for number two is Lydia? False. False. Why? Because Adams. Sons receive a thanks, don't receive a thanks card. He yeah, don't, he, he, you mean he didn't? Yeah, that. He, he didn't what? He didn't receive a what card? A thank you card. A thank you card, okay. Yeah, that. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, so, you, okay, what do you think, Ellie? Do you think that's the um, right answer? I already did it, but I'm not sure about what I hear because my parody is too nice. So, um, but uh, I agree with um, Idalia. With Idalia. Okay, Lydia. You mean um, Lydia? I agree with Lydia because I I didn't hear about a thank you card as a reward. Okay, right, regular. Okay, false. Okay, let's say that that's false. Okay, all right, number three. All right. What do you think, um, Miguel? In two, he got money instead of the a thank you card, about ten dollars, okay. remember? And in this, the owner of the book probably didn't care much about it. It doesn't say. It says the book was cheap, and but it doesn't really say if he if, if the owner will have cared much about it. Okay. He does say that Lynn thinks the owner doesn't care much about it, I think, because it was cheap. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Uh, so do we, do we agree with that answer, guys? Do we all agree with that answer? So you, see, you, say, you think that the answer is does, doesn't say? If Miguel says it must be true. You think that it must be true? Why do you think that it must be true? I'm uh, absolutely uh, sure. 
Aha. <laughs> myself. <laughs> All right. Very good. So, okay. So, very good. Okay. All right. So, let's say it doesn't say. Okay. We'll see. All right. If, it, uh, if it's not this, it's false. Okay. All right. Lita, what do you think about number four? All right. Very good. It's true. All right. What do you think about number four and why? Uh-huh. So I think that is false because she didn't return the book. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's let's go with false, guys. I agree with this. At that point, it's already impossible to find the owner. All right. The original let's, owner of the book. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look. It will probably be true. Oh, I was right. <laughs> Very good. All right, were they all right? Nice. Applause, guys. Good job for you. Good, good, good job. All right, let's go, guys. Let's move on to the next one. That's it. All right. Yeah, no, no. I mean, let's move on to the next uh, exercise, okay? Very good. Uh, not to the next exercise, to the next uh, lesson, all right? So now, guys, uh, you can stop sharing your screen if you want. All right, very good. All right, guys, so um, let's talk about some spelling rules, guys. Okay, We're going to talk about prefix, uh, prefixes, okay? What do you think prefixes are, guys? Actually, prefixes. Have you ever heard about prefixes? No. Okay. So prefixes, guys. Jesus what happened to the coffee? No, not my coffee. That was my Coke. Did I have something in some? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. All right, that wasn't bad. I actually didn't have anything inside, so we're good. All right, so, all right, guys, so we're going to talk about some prefixes, okay? Prefixes for adjectives, actually, all right? So let's go to section 3.5, okay? All right, let me bring this up here. Unethical. Yes, unethical. All right, so first of all, let's learn about those, you know, that the vocabulary. Uh, no, here. Uh, here. All right, guys. You should be able to see the right screen now. All right, guys. So let's take a look, guys, at uh, at some, you know, some um, some adjectives, guys. Okay. All right. The first adjective that we got, guys, is it a positive or or negative adjective? And how do you pronounce it? Positive. All right, it is a positive adjective, right? How do you pronounce that, Lydia? All right. We'll wait for you. Don't worry. Oh, I think that is acceptable. Uh huh. Okay, acceptable, right? Okay. Not acceptable. acceptable. Acceptable, right? Very good. All right, uh, Miguel. All right, number mm -hmm. two, um, the one, the one below, all right, is that, is that a positive adjective or, a, or a negative adjective? A positive one. All right, very good. What about the proving, positive or negative? Positive. All right. What about ethical? Repeat, guys. Ethical. 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 Repeat. Ethical. Ethical. Very good. Ethical. All right. Fair. Let me know if you don't know any of these words. Like, if you don't know any of these words, guys, okay, please let me know. All right. So, fair. Repeat, guys. Fair. 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 All right. Honest. Honest. Legal. 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 Logical. 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 Rational. Rational. Responsible. Responsible. All right. Uh, scrupulous. Scrupulous, actually. Scrupulous. 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 Okay. Trustworthy. Trustworthy. All right. Trustworthy is that you can trust in someone. So, okay. for example, I I can say I am a trust. Worthy 
All right, person. All right, I am a, th a trustworthy person, okay? That means that you can trust me, all right? Got it? Yeah. Very good, guys. Very good. What is the meaning of scrupulous, guys? This is a um, very Latin word, which has the same meaning than, than the one, you know. It's when, Spanish, the kind of pronunciation is, you know, almost the same. Scrupulous no. something, um, like when you, you have something so meticulous, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this the right way, but I think it's when you are um, extremely uh, uh, extremely uh, uh -huh. uh, metico, meticuloso. Meticulous. Right, no, no Spanish, right? Beautiful. Thank you, Google Translate. But meticulous, like, uh, in, Something so I like I I did it so um oh I I check it so oh scrupulous okay I think this is the meaning but I'm not I don't know if I'm right okay, okay right. Well, Miguel what what is it it's somebody who plays hey, by the rules somebody who plays by the by the rules. Yeah. But uh, you're talking on, only with somebody or, or we can use this um, word and, um, for another thing. Or, what, what, do you, what do you think, Lydia? What, what do you think it is? I know what it is, but I can say it in Spanish. All right. I mean, no, say it in English. That's it. That's the whole thing. You're, you're learning English. So that's Spanish, it's guys. almost the same word in Spanish. All right. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's almost the same word in Spanish. But what is the explanation behind it? So what does it mean? What do you think? I am not really sure about it. So go for it. Whatever you think it is, go for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Go for it. Whatever you think it is. Anything better than I don't know. Okay. Try to explain it. Uh huh. Um, maybe. So let me think. Is maybe can be a person who have moral. Okay, a person. Who, okay. So you mean an ethical person, someone who is- Yeah, like that. So I am not sure about it, but I think that maybe okay. can be. All right, I think guys, I, I don't think that anybody actually gave me the, the, the real reason. Maybe early a little bit. A scrupulous person, guys, is someone who is very attentive to detail. Got it? If you're, if you're scrupulous, it means that you're almost a perfectionist. Got it? Yeah. What is it? All right, so you pay, you have a, you know, you pay, you pay attention to details, okay? So you want to everything to be perfect. You are diligent, all right? So that's basically the meaning of that, right? Perfectionist. What, yeah, yeah, exactly, like a perfectionist, okay? What about rational, guys? What do you think rational is? Uh, well, uh, uh -huh. something, something that has logic. Very good. Okay, so if you're okay, so yes, if you're log, if you you know, if you talk about something with logic, right, you're a rational person. Very good, guys. Okay, so now, guys, all right, we're gonna talk about prefixes. What are prefixes, guys? What do you know about prefixes? What what, what do you think that they are according to what you see on the screen? They are sounds or well, syllabs. That okay. are at syllabus that are added at the start of a word to change its meaning. Very good, guys. Okay, so this, okay, so they are added at the start of the word to change the meaning. Okay, so the my favorite, guys. Everybody in your notebook, guys. Okay, all right. Everybody in your notebook. I want you to try to. Uh, let's use this this chart here. All right. Let me take a screenshot. Actually, you know what, Miguel, take a screenshot, please, and uh, send it to the group. All right, so what we're going to do, guys, you're going to try 
to place these adjectives, okay, using into into the the right preposition, into the right prefixes, okay. Got it. So prefixes with the right adjectives. All right. Uh, did you take the screenshot? Yep. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Yeah. All right. So now, guys, make a chart in your notebook like this. All right. Uh, 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 okay. And let's try to see, guys, which prefixes we are going to use for what adjectives. For example, okay, the first example is for acceptable, we're going to use unacceptable. All right. So let's see, guys. Let's see, and we'll see how that's done, okay? All right, so I'll give you 10 minutes, guys, to work on that. Let me know if you need anything. What we need to do? Uh, I don't know, Lydia or Miguel, can you explain what we're doing? We will add the prefixes to the words that we were seeing earlier. Okay, very good, exactly. So, so Miguel sent the chart to the group. So let's use the chart and let's add the, uh, the prefixes, okay? All right. Uh, let's let's uh, if you want work, work together if you want guys all right share your ideas and why you know you're choosing those um, you know those answers. So what prefixes are we going to use? Like changing ethical for unethical and inacceptable. Yeah, so yes, exactly. Like acceptable to unacceptable, okay. right? Okay. okay. So okay. very good. So try to do it in your notebook, okay?
Hi, are you ready? I think I have no. All right. Very good. Uh, we're going to give, we got four more minutes for the rest. Good job. I'm done. Okay. All right. We're going to wait for Lydia. I'm done. Okay. Very good, guys. Good job. All right, guys. So let's see what we got. Unethical. All right, very good, guys. All right, so let's see what we got, guys. Okay, so what do we have for? So what do we have for? Um, in the first column, right? What do we have in the first column? For this. This, uh huh. This, this not not these. This. This approving. This. Okay, so you think it's disapproving? Okay, repeat, guys. Disapproving. Disapproving. Dis okay, disapproving, right? So like this. Oh. This Right. So this, this, um, through. Thing. Okay. Is it with two P's? Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Very good. So this approving. Okay. All right. That's good. Uh, do we have anything else here, Lydia? Disagree. Disagree. Yep. Disagreeable. Okay. Disagreeable. Okay. Disagreeable. All right. Uh, anything else? Dishonest. 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 Repeat, guys. Dishonest. 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 Okay. This the the H is mute. Well, it depends where you're from. All right. Where where you live. Uh, you can say dishonest or dishonest. Okay. Very good. All right. What else, guys? What else do we have here? Anything else? Nothing else? No, All nothing right. else. All right. And don't say any, guys, because any doesn't mean nothing, okay? All right. Nothing else. All right, very good. Uh, what about ill, guys? Illegal. Illegal. Illegal, okay. Illegal, okay. All right, like that or just with one L? It's like this, right? Very good. Illegal. All right, uh, Lydia, next one. Uh, in that place, no. Nothing else, so guys? No, nothing else. Miguel, Eli? Logical. Illogical, okay, very good. Illogical. Ill Sorry. Illogical, okay. All right, illogical, like these guys are with two L's. Two L's. Two. All right, very good. What else, guys? Nothing else? Mm, I have heard no. people using Ilhanis, but it, Ilhanis, but it's not really something that I have heard of. Ilhanis. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> I have heard. No, man, that's not. I, know, I don't, I don't know I where they're from, man, but, but that does not. That's not like that. Okay? Yeah, it, mm -hmm. We'll go through the rules in a moment, guys, but no, it's not like that, okay? All right, very good. What, what do we have with air? Air. Irresponsible. Irresponsible, okay. Irrational. Responsible, okay, very good. Irrational, okay, irrational, very good. What else? Irrational. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? 
not Spanish. And, uh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What about un? Unethical. 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 Okay. What else? Unacceptable. What? Unacceptable. Oh, yeah. it, it was already there. Never mind that. Okay. On a what? Let's see. Unscrupulous. Unacceptable. Unscrupulous. Okay. Unscrupulous. Uh huh. Untrue. What is it, Lydia? Untrue. Oh my. Okay, all right. Why? What is it? Untrue worthy. Untrustworthy. Untrust. Untrustworthy. Trustworthy. All right. Repeat, guys. Untrustworthy. Untrustworthy. All right. What else? Unfair. Unfair. Okay. Unfair. What else? You have an acceptable. Okay, an acceptable is already there. Uh huh. Okay. Um, I think we are done. I think. Okay, all right, very good. All right. So, how do you come up? How do you come up with these answers, guys? Why did you choose? For example, in the first example, guys, why did you use disapproving instead of is ill approving or iris? You're approving or unapproving? Mm, I don't know why, but but I have it here this like this way. So I mean, but I don't know why. Okay, right. I mean, you you did you chose the right answers. Did you see them somewhere? Did you cheat? I hear. Or I I yeah. Oh, I, I don't heard them. Just that way, okay. Quite often. All right, that's good. That's good, guys. That's good. That's that's the way I learned it too, guys. Like I didn't, I, I, I don't remember. Well, actually, no, guys. I, I, I was explaining this a long time ago, but then I forgot, you know, that I was even explain explain the rule. It's just like you know, just you just imitate, right? But there is a proof. There, there is a rule, guys. So use, guys. Let's let's talk about this, okay? This, 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 okay? So when do you see here that we're using this, guys? After what? Uh huh. So this, uh huh. Can you still see? Can you? Are you seeing the other tab, or are you seeing the? Hold on, guys. What are you seeing? I don't know if when I change tabs, can you, guys, can you see a different tab right now, or do you see the presentation? The presentation. I. Mm, mm. <laughs> what? The presentation. Ellie, what were you gonna say? I'm sorry. And and I I I, I was to say the same that Miguel said. Okay. Now no, no, we are we're not. What? No, we are watching. Uh... Okay, all right. That's what I wanted to say, guys. If you can see that when I change tabs, the reason why, guys, no. is because that was the website from uh from the rules for this. Okay. Now. <laughs> The reason why, guys, I'm bringing that up is because according to the rules, guys, all right, it depends, you know, what the start of the following word is, right? So, for example, in the word illegal, right, or illegal, right? How do you want to say it? Okay? Why? Because it starts with an L, guys. So, for words that start with an L, right, we use L, right? Simple as that, right? What about irresponsible? What do you think? With R. With R, okay, very good. What about unacceptable? The, those who start with consonant sounds that are not L, L or R. Very good, guys. Okay, now these ones, guys, they actually, they actually, guys, uh, are used whenever you're starting a word with a consonant or a vowel, except for two vowels. What are those vowels? E and I, not E. Uh, I and I, I can think of the other one. What about you? Yeah, you too. You, are you unusual. sure? Unusual. All right. Unusual. All right, yeah, you can say unusual, right? Very good, guys. Okay, what about this, guys? What do you think about this? Those who start with 
vowel sounds that are not E or U. I or U. Okay, all right. Oh Very good job. Very good job. Oh my God, that parrot is going nuts, right? Very good, guys. Okay. You got it, guys. So all of your answers, guys, are correct. And also, guys, it doesn't make sense. Like when you, this is this is something that get, that caught my attention, guys. You actually got them all right, okay, without even knowing the rules. That's because most of them actually don't make. I mean, uh, most of them actually don't make sense if you say, you know, with any other the other rules. However, guys, there is one that will get you confused from time to time. What do you think it is? It's one that is not mentioned here. The prefix. And what prefix, guys? And. All right, and, guys, okay? For example, all right, what word? This is not here, guys, but let's just talk about one example. So what word can you think, think, can you think about and? Mm -hmm. Inethical. No, you cannot say inethical. But, yeah, it doesn't sound that right. Exactly, right? All right, now the rule is the same as saying unethical, except that this one can be with any vowel and any consonant, right? What about necessary? Is it unnecessary or unnecessary? Un. That's on, right? That's still on. Can you think about another one that starts with N? Negotiable. But it's okay. still on. Okay, all right. Negotiable. Negotiable, but it's still an. Is it possible to say unnecessary? That's so unnecessary or unnecessary only? Both sound right in that. What one. about mobile, guys? Mobile. Think about mobile. This word, mobile. All right. That's right. sweet. In. All right. Very good. Okay. And mobile, right? Very good. Okay. All right, With so them? this this follows no, this follows the same rule, guys, as the, as an on. However, you have to learn them, guys. You just have to memorize them, to be honest. Okay, and also, guys, some of them doesn't don't sound you know correct if you pronounce them, right? Very good, guys. So you got all the answers correctly, guys. So applause for you. Good job. Very good job. Okay. All right, guys. Do you have any question regarding the pronunciation for this, or you're good? We're good. I think I'm good. Right, All right, guys. Okay, guys. So, do you remember, guys? Do you remember Unreal Conditionals? Yeah. All right. So, what do we use Unreal Conditionals for? Why do we call them Unreal Conditionals? Mm, to models. Okay. Right. Now, guys, because it's Unreal Situations, right? Why do we call them like that, guys? Because it's situations. Because it's unreal real. situations. Okay, very good. Now, what about wishes, Lydia? What, what do you think wishes are real or unreal? Um, unreal. They're unreal. Very good. Right, because there, those are things that you know, it's not facts, guys. Okay, it's something that you don't have. Okay, very good. So wishes are unreal, okay? So what do you think that we, what conditional do you think that we're gonna use if, if you know, it's in a real situation? Miguel? Um, usually, the first that comes to my head, it's would. Okay, um, what type, okay, but what type of conditional? How do we call that? First, second, third conditional. How do we call it? Second conditional. All right, it is second conditional. Very good. Okay, which is also called an, an unreal conditional, right? Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. So let's talk about wishes and regrets. Um, Miguel, let's go. Let's let's take a look at the first usage of wish. So what do we what do we use that with exactly? For wishes about the present and future, use wish plus past, past simple, past okay. continuous, or could, would, plus verb. Very good. Okay. All right. So when we wish, guys, okay, this is this is something that I need you to remember. Okay, we're gonna be talking about simple past. It doesn't mean, guys, that it's something that happened in the past. Okay, it's just a wish. That's just a structure that that goes along with it. Okay. So 
Notice the first example, Lydia. Let's go. You know what? Let me pick someone, guys. All right. So okay. let's 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 recap a little bit, guys. Okay. So, all right. I'm gonna pick the person who can give me the last one, guys. Who gives gives me the answer with their hands? Okay. Using your hands, you're gonna give me the answer of the result of ten minus three. All right. Ten minus three. Five, four, three. All right. Very good. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ellie, I cannot see your photo, Ellie and Lydia. I, I do not see 10 minus 3 very, very, with your hands. Oh, my God. Oh. I, don't know what, what, I don't know what do you say, but... <laughs> you got to turn off. You gotta I don't know what camera. you're asking for. Oh, so I, I since Miguel was the only one, guys, Miguel, pick someone. Pick Lydia or Ellie. Hello, um, Ellie. Ellie? All right, Ellie, let's oh go. You raised me. All right, very good. All right, Ellie, let's go. Number one. What I need to do? Let's let's read. Let's read the first example. Oh, I wish I had enough nerve to ask for inform for a promotion. Okay, repeat. Okay, let's repeat, guys. We gotta improve that accent. I wish I, I wish had I enough had, nerve. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. Very good. Right. Number two. Example number two. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work okay very good do my favorite guys write down this structure in your notebook right now please okay i wish plus past simple plus past con uh or past continuous simple, past continuous cool. all right so now guys if i say i wish i had am i talking about the past oh i wish i had enough nerve to ask for promotion is that is that the past guys or is that the present or is that the future the future It's the present in this case. Very good, guys. It is the present. I mean, it is the present, guys. I wish, right? I wish I had. I'm talking about something for the present or for the future. What do you think? You the past? Okay, I don't know. The past? I don't know. Okay. The All right. Very good. Okay. So this is, okay, this is. Let's have somebody here. All right, so this is someone praying, guys, okay? So he's praying. <laughs> oh my God. This is, okay, so he's he's praying. <laughs> Why, hold on. Okay, let's How do I do this? Okay, all right, no, we're gonna do this, okay? So, okay, so this guy, guys, is, is playing, this is his, all right. Without shoes, without shoes. All right, very it's good. okay, without shoes. Very good, guys. Without shoes, okay, very good, right? This is a table, right? So this guy, okay. all right, so this guy is praying, guys, okay? All right, because he wishes something, all right? Is he wishing something right now, or, or is he in the past, or is he in the future? What do you think, Lydia? I think that these two first samples are from the future. All right. But, but the action, but the action that he's doing, okay? Wishing, he's wishing right now, right? Yeah. All right, so the action, is it happening in the present or is it happening in the future? In the present. It is happening in the present, okay? And he's wishing for? The future. For the future, guys, okay? Very good, guys, okay? okay. Now, if I say, guys, I wish I had gone. I wish I had gone to the party yesterday. Am I talking about the past or the future? You are talking about the past. Okay, all right. Because now the structure changes, right? I'm using. Yeah. I had gone. All right. Very good, guys. I. But if I say I wish I had enough nerve, or if, let's say, let's change. It. I wish I had a car. Right. Write, this, write down this structure if you want, guys, okay? So, subject plus wish plus verb in what tense, guys? Verb in the past plus what else? Verb. Plus, no, guys, okay, compliment, okay? All right. Compliment. 
Compliment. Okay, very good. Okay. So this is a torture, guys. All right. So now, guys, if I say I wish I had a car, first of all, the first question is, do I have a car? Do you have? Do I have a car, Lydia? Yeah. Okay. So I, you were not listening, I guess. If I say I wish I had a car, do I have a car? Uh, no. Why not? Because you wish a car. Very good. Okay. Right. Am I? Does, does this mean that I had a car? That I had a car in the past? Miguel, what do you think? Does this mean that you, I had a car in the past? No, it doesn't really say if you had or not a Very car. Very good, because all right, because these guys, I wish I had, guys, that I had is not talking about the past, okay? Very good. What if I say, guys, I wish... I wish La Toxica, that's Latox, okay, I'm gonna call her Latox. I wish Latox, <laughs> all right, was mine. Does that mean that Latox is with me? No, yeah. guys, okay, no, because I'm wishing for it, right? Very good, all right. All right, so uh, good job. So now, do me a favor, guys, before we leave, guys, all right, just, just one example, and we're, then we're going to continue with this more. All right, tell me things that you wish for. Miguel, what is something that you wish for? I wish I could finish something that I, that I have dreamed of. That I have. Okay, I wish I could finish something that I dreamt of mm -hmm. or that I have dreamt of, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, very good. Lydia, let's go. What, are you, um, what is something that you wish? I wish that I could have pretty great notes in this, in my final project. Okay, notes, guys, are not great, okay? Great, so, sorry, sorry, right, great. Very good. I wish I had, I had great, uh, great grades. Great grades, right? Great, I wish great. I had great grades great, right? great. Uh, on my final exam, right? Very good. Yeah. Uh, Ellie, tell me something that you wish. Mm, I wish I had a um, chance to study more. Very good. I wish I had a chance to study, to study more because I work too much. Okay? Yeah. Very good, guys. All right. Good job, guys. So uh, this is we're gonna we're gonna take off now, guys. Okay. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Just remember to finish everything where we left off. If you have any questions, guys, please hit me up. Uh, join early tomorrow, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. Oh uh, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Have a nice night. All right. Well, good night. You too, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.